let's look at ARM and incremental backups. The default backup is a full backup, but you can always do incremental backups. Incremental level 0 is a baseline, and after that you can do incremental level 1 backups, which will capture only the changes since the baseline. So let me start with a level 0 backup. Okay, so this is my level 0 backup. I specify incremental level 0 database. So that means this is not a full backup which is non-incremental, but this is a backup which will be part of an incremental backup strategy. So any subsequent incremental level 1 backup will use this as a baseline. That means a subsequent level 1 backup will backup changes made since this level 0 backup. So as usual, it takes all the data files. Okay, they don't necessarily have to be appear uh, backed up in the same order, and they may appear in one or more backup sets. Here in this case, they're all going into one backup set. We will take incremental level zero backup, make a few changes, take a level one backup after that and then compare the sizes of the two backups. So this takes some time. Later on we will see that the level 1 backup will be much smaller. But depending on the speed of the I.O. The, the duration of the backup may not be very significantly different. Only on enterprise systems with very large dates will see, we see a difference in incremental backup time. But we will definitely see a difference in ba backup uh, size. So if I do a list backup, this is the incremental, you can see it is of type incremental level 0 and it is 378 megabytes after compression. Okay. Let me make some changes to the database. even if I drop a table that is a change to the database so let me drop the table so I'm just simulating a few hundred rows being created so there I have about 1600 rows created and then I will start an incremental level 1 backup. So it is it will still look at all the data files even if you have touched one data file because there have been checkpoints because there have been background activity all the data files are being updated frequently by the database so it will still take all the data files they were all read write mode so it will assume that there have been changes whether or not one change or a million changes it doesn't matter data file will be included in the backup but an incremental backup will actually look at how many blocks have changed since the last baseline backup and only capture those blocks that have changed although all the data files will be included in the incremental backup let's just scroll back and see the previous level 0 backup was 378 megabytes compressed it took 1 minute 21 seconds and now we have a fresh backup so here we have this fresh backup backup set 21 it's only 856 kilobytes in 37 seconds so you can compare the checkpoint SCNs also 8354 here with the previous one 8179 378 meg megabytes in 1 minute 21 seconds so incremental backup is much smaller when you do an incremental backup you have the option of specifying whether it's differential or cumulative the default is differential means it captures the differences since the last incremental 
level one backup so every differential incremental backup will be very small but a cumulative incremental backup will capture all changes since level zero backup so you need to look at the documentation again a level one differential is changes since last level one or if there was no previous level one changes since last level zero level one cumulative means ignore any previous level one all capture all changes since last level zero so level one cumulatives are larger than level one differential but for recovery purposes level one cumulative are quicker to recover from because you don't need to apply the multiple differential backups when you do a restore so if you do a, le a level one differential backup on monday tuesday wednesday after a level zero on sunday and you need to recover on thursday you need all three backups of monday tuesday and wednesday but if you do a baseline level zero on sunday and do level one cumulative backups on monday tuesday wednesday and do a recovery on thursday you do, you can ignore the monday and tuesday backups because the cumulative backup on wednesday has also captured those changes so level one cumulative is bigger than level one differential but faster to recover from